Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. I would like to make a 5 minutes tutorial about how to remove stock cooler from Asus uh, TUF or TUF gaming graphical cards. I'm not going to show everything, I'll show you all critical moments. For those of you who haven't upgraded for a while, there's a little bit different procedure from this uh, card and probably other modern cards then comparing with other ones i just uh, like quickly show you in the past when we had a card it usually had a back plate and actual cooler so what you did you unscrew all screws from the back plate remove it and then you have exposed circuit board that shows much more other type of the screws that actually attaching the cooler itself and then you screw those you free bracket and remove the card so it's like two steps back plate first cooler second now with a new card like this it's a little bit more complicated a large amount of screws essentially the step one will be removing fans and this plastic shroud the step number two will be removing the back plate and after we're doing this this thingy this is a heat sink that inside the silver one this will be the last piece that you need to unscrew and remove and then you have your pcb free let me show you process quickly i'm not going to show you the actual work but i'll show you result five minutes later one two three four five six screws here three screws on the bracket we have uh, one here by hdmi port and one two vertical screws on uh, on the bracket itself we also need to remove those two connectors that power up the fans and lights and our shroud is free so that we can put aside next step we'll be removing two additional screws you can see it right here and, uh, and one here which will release the back plate those two screws out so back plate supposed to be detached pretty easily at this point let's see if we can do it let's appear something still holding it possibly those two screws let's do that as well and yes it is here you go yes one little mistake in explanation but we figured it out now the last part left to remove actual cooler and that will be those four screws that you need to untighten in a cross pattern and uh, here I will keep my cam on so you actually see that it's really important to, to unscrew it carefully in a cross pattern. It's a lot of tension which can be an even type and you want to do it slowly to avoid any potential damage Oops. okay now basically the only thing that holds PCB is uh, adhesion forces from the thermal pads and uh, thermal paste in the middle so usual thing not any different from previous attempts that we did in the past you just wiggle and try to free board from from this cooler i'm probably out of the focus at this point so i'll sit in more comfortable position i'll do that but this is only one advice here do not rush that's the result all done now only cleaning left 
you can see as they put fair amount of thermal grease on a, on a chip but it was applied perfectly uh, when I tested the card we showed pretty decent cooling performance with a stock cooler so installation appears to be not bad at all I see the imprint on um, on the thermal pads also shows a certain amount of pressure on those two here not so obvious but uh, probably should be well good as well we can see it from other side yes there's a good imprint on the chip so it was good contact so nothing wrong here it was a good factory job ASOS congratulations I hope this video helps thank you for watching and see you in next one about water cooling <laughs>